Hello everyone, my name is Sploosh, this is my first attempt at a video commentary. I will be playing on the map WMD, uh, mode domination, and uh, I believe the final score will be 54 and 4. I play domination a lot, I, I also play demolition. Uh, I would play capture the flag a little more if, I, if there was a party system on the computer. You're going to see here, I, I've had a lot of near kills in the first few seconds here, and this guy ends up killing me on the flank at the stairs. It's really my own stupidity. I, I intended to just go clean up that building and then come back, but I got so obsessed with getting those kills that it ended up costing me my life. And you can see that guy behind the, behind the barrier, he was really doing a good job of being feisty. Uh, so, you're going to see here too, an RPG death, and I'm going to have a few silly deaths in the first few minutes, just bear with me on that. I mean, and, uh, RPG death, that's just the worst. Um, so, basically, uh, the reason I made this video is uh, yesterday I decided to make a kit based on the G11, a gun that had sort of a love-hate relationship. I, 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 I've used it in the past and hated it, and I just sort of got rid of it. But yesterday I just decided I'm going to dedicate a kit uh, to it. And um, a lot of it comes down to the perks and the reason why I like the G11, I think... When you're building a class, you want to meet certain criteria. I think any great kit is going to have a goal of certain things. In my opinion, when you have a really great gun in this game, uh, you're going to you want to be able to kill at least three people before you reload. You notice here the G11 actually uh, starts with 48 bullets and it has a lot of uh, extra bullets as well so you really don't ever run out I, I think I end up running out at the very end of this video but that's after many many kills this is a huge advantage uh, so you basically are getting dual mags and extended mags uh, for free you know and uh, you see I end up iron sighting this gun I think the attachment is kind of pointless it uh... It, 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 it messes with you. You can't see your screen on the top when you're using it. It's great for medium range, but it kind of wiggles around. And it's just very awkward to use. Uh, so, so in general, I think the gun's really great. But I think my choice of perks really uh, sh takes advantage of its strengths and weaknesses. Like right there, you'll see I didn't even bother to zoom in. Uh, quick two bursts, and that guy dropped. You know, with it might even have been one burst, but I always pretty much double tap just to make sure. Uh, so, the the easiest perk to explain would be hacker. In my opinion, I pretty much always stick with flak jacket or hacker when I play. There is uh, a couple of my some of my kits I, I do like lightweight marathon for goofing off. But but if I'm really playing serious and I want to win, I'm gonna have hacker or flak jacket on my kits. The reason is because I absolutely can't stand claimers. I think they're overpowered in this uh, version of Call of Duty. In Modern Warfare 2, they were quite balanced. They had a big delay on them when they exploded. And I don't know. I just you didn't die to them too much. You didn't get grenades and claymores at the same time, so people didn't really want to use them. But uh, you know, in this game, they go off quick. Everybody, you know, the noobs use them. If you're getting like a one-to-one -one KD and you use claymores, you might get that KD up a couple points. You know, maybe point. Let's say point two, point five. You know. It's kind of, it helps the noobs out, you know, to boost their KD. And when you're going on big kill streaks and you end up dying to claimers, I don't think there's anything more depressing. So, and then the next thing I use is steady aim. The reason is because the G11 also has a very unique spread when you're not zoomed. Most assault rifles, especially like the Commando or the, I don't want to say the AK because I don't use it too much, but definitely the Commando. I feel like I use half a clip or more on a point blank, no scope kill. Here is just a travesty that I died here. I, I'm pretty sure I stabbed him, but it doesn't matter well. Um, so you see here, I'm going to defend A. I mean, believe it or not, I am trying to win this game. I has nothing, you know. I'm not trying to just get kills. Um, but let's see here. So with the uh, steady aim, uh, it really like. By the way, you see how I changed switch to the knife here? Does that make you go faster? You can see uh, I am. I think running faster there, and I, I felt like when I feel like when I go from uh, assault rifle to submachine gun, even if I'm holding both at the same time, 
when I switch, I go a little faster. So if anyone can confirm or deny that, kind of, you know, obviously if you've ever played Counter Strike, that's how it works. You know, you call it the knife, you run real fast. So in seeing those knives kind of explains my steady aim a little further. Steady aim allows you to stab people really, really fast. Um, and uh, you're gonna see this guy. He saw me go by. He tries to get me to knife me, but this gun doesn't have any of that. So you know, I get a few long range kills. I think I finally do get like a one burst kill right here. You know, no, believe it or not, they're not that uncommon, but in this video, I, I, have, I do kind of a poor job of getting those one burst kills. I, I can't explain it. I kind of remember this being a server I don't normally play on. But, you know, back to steady aim. Uh, I think that steady aim with this gun has a perfect synergy. I think sleight of hand's a little overrated. I don't intend to reload since I have 48 bullets. That was a pretty slick move. I, I don't do stuff like that normally. I saw the dot and I just went for it. And here, I think I would have got a double kill if, if that guy in the back didn't die. And that's why I use the knives. You get the quick stab, I, I'm, and I guess it leads me into my next perk, which I think is obvious. I'm using lightweight right here. See, I take no damage. And what are the odds I fall into a flashbang? That's kind of depressing. But anyway, I, you know, and then how do I not get that kill? Jeez, really? This game was... was in retrospect a little frustrating but you know it wasn't premeditated I thought of making this video on uh, yesterday and then I made it yesterday and I'm recording this now but uh, so so with the knife uh, I think it has a good synergy with with uh, steady aim and then lightweight also has good synergy with steady aim and the knife and so I can move quick get in there for the stabs I'm a silent killer I think you know pistols are really quite overrated uh, the best you can usually hope for is one kill with one clip and a pistol I do like extended mags on the pistols. You see that lunge kind of saves me because I'm getting shot in the back. That's why I did that. Um, you know, but with with uh, with a pistol, so you, you get that one kill. You get extended mags. You have like 12 bullets. So that's like two clips. Yay! That you know, you might get two kills. With the knife, you shoot that little knife. It's an instant kill. That's it's as good as you can ask for. And you can reload it by just picking up your knives. Or hey, you see a nice gun on the ground, uh, you pick it up. And, uh, you know, you can switch to the knife very quickly. Uh, it's just nice, you know. So I think it's a good synergy with the kit I'm trying to make here. And by the way, I'm not trying to take credit for inventing this. I bet you there's probably someone I've never heard of that may has done this before. I'm not trying to take credit for it, but if this is the first time you've seen someone use the G11 with this style, uh, then I hope you like it and give it a shot yourself. Uh, I, I personally think I'm going to keep this one. And, and I, it's hard for me to keep kits that I like because I have no intention of prestiging. So, uh, you know, if I keep a kit, I gotta really like it. So, you see here, I'm getting really reckless. If I if I hadn't got my kill streaks already, I probably wouldn't just stay right here just trying to kill people. It's sort of a mentality I've taken from Modern Warfare 1, uh, where you only had the helicopter as a kill streak, and then that was it. So. If I got a helicopter, I'd, I'm looking for a gun here. I need ammo. There was a gun there, but it disappeared right when I wanted it. When, when you know, in, in Modern Warfare 1, you get the helicopter, you pull out your helicopter, and then you pretty much suicide on purpose. And you get another helicopter faster than your helicopter goes down, and you have permanent helicopter. In this game, I don't think it's much different. You get those kill streaks. I just feel like, what's the point of living without kill streaks to shoot for? You see here, I pick up that AK-74. It's a, it has dual attachments, rapid fire, and grip. I mean, how amazing is that, right? I, I have steady aim already, and then I pick up some guy warlord gun. So why waste warlord when you can steal a warlord gun? And you can watch how effective this gun is. I, I think it's pretty obvious the AK-74 is overpowered. You can see I just disintegrate people. But you know what? With the negative is, if you watch this, you know I'm firing about 13 to 15, 16 bullets per kill, which goes back to my point in the beginning about how I believe if you can kill three or four people and then reload, you got yourself a great kit, and that's where the G11 really excels. This video is about to come to an end. There's a lot more I'd like to say and do, for, uh, but hey, uh, this is an end. If you like this movie, please hit the like and, and uh, show it. Show your appreciation and encourage me to do another video. Thank you.